guys, in today's video we are going to be working because my money has been literally draining ever since I built this loft and I've also been working on a mansion build. I didn't record building the actual mansion, in fact I'm just going to be showing you guys a tour afterwards because there's a lot to it and it is my very first big build. So in today's video I'm going to be working because I seriously need some money. While I am working I thought it would be a great idea to answer some questions about myself because I kind of just realized that you guys don't really know much about me other than the fact that I like to play Roblox videos and I record them and I upload them on YouTube so I thought I would, you know, answer some questions that I wrote down beforehand before filming this video so that's what we're going to be doing today. So I thought it would be good to, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Right now, um, my character is feeling... Oh my gosh, she is low on energy, low on food. Um, we need to get some of these in. And um, if you guys remember my very first video, which was the um, inspired build by Annex, where I did like a tour. After that video, I built like a workstation for her and it was like the cutest thing ever. It was like a little hut and it had like a door and stuff so that you can hide it when you're not working. I thought it was super cute and I don't have a workstation now but let me tell you guys that really helps when you are trying to make money because if you guys didn't know um, the higher your moods are if your moods are all the way up then you make more money when you work I'm probably not the work too just because I don't have like a workstation right now in fact I can probably just build one randomly and just delete it later on so what else did she need she also needed some entertainments Oh my gosh, I feel like it always takes super long to get her moods up, so yeah. Um, I will get back to you guys when her moods are all up. Okay guys, so we have all of our moods up and I should probably do this quickly, but right now I'm just going to build a workstation. Um, this workstation is not going to be fully complete like the other one that I had. Um, I'm just putting down the basics that I think I need, so I need, let's see, I need some, I need a bathtub because she needs to stay clean. I also need a TV so that she can keep her entertainment up. Um, let's see. So, okay, so I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need a table because I don't feel like buying a expensive TV. In fact, I'm just gonna go for this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna look so funny. Okay, so I need my advanced placement on for the TV part. So let's see, where's electronics? Electronics, um, I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, and then also I'm going to buy a fridge because we also need some food. Um, there's no tinier ones than this one, so I'm going to take that out. And then also um, I'm going to add a coffee maker. I was watching Peter Bird's video the other day on how to make more money. You can actually get coffee overload and that your, um, your energy will decrease faster than normally, so... He doesn't recommend using a coffee maker. Oh my gosh, I literally have like troubles trying to turn this stuff around. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. That looks totally fine. That's our workstation for now, okay? So now let's just teleport to work. So this was actually my first job when I joined Bloxburg, but then I it got kind of boring and I always wondered why people were working the delivery person job all the time because that's literally all I saw. So I was like, I'm gonna try it out. So I did and then I realized that you actually make more money but I will say though, it does get boring even if you're like constantly moving. And that's another thing about the other job, Bloxy Burgers. It was super boring just, you know, standing there and taking people's orders. So I wanted to try something new and do this job. And in this job, I am a level 23. I believe I'm like a level 43 in the Bloxy Burgers game. Or Bloxy Burgers game. <laughs> I'm a level 43 or something in the Bloxy Burgers uh, job. I make a quite a decent amount of money, but I figured that I work, I make more money working this job in a shorter amount of time. Okay, so moving on to the first question that I have what is your favorite color or colors? And my favorite colors are a blush pink and a aquamarine blue. So an aquamarine blue is kind of like a seafoam blue. It's 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 not like teal, but it's more bluish if that makes any sense. Kind of like a pool blue. If you've ever seen like pool water, that's like aquamarine right there. That's like my favorite color blue. You guys could probably tell from my builds that I really like the color blush pink. 
I don't know, it's like a warm, girly color. I love it. I feel like it's so versatile and it goes with a lot of things. Um, I feel like it's one of the colors that looks really good with grays and also like neutral colors like browns. So yeah, those are my favorite colors. The second question is favorite Netflix shows. And my favorite Netflix shows are The Walking Dead, Stranger Things, um, Scrubs is not on Netflix. I believe it's on Hulu. I also really like to watch Scrubs. Um, I've been trying to find other shows. I also really like Riverdale. Um, but I don't know, I've been more into The Walking Dead than Riverdale. My boyfriend and I just stopped watching um, the Walking Dead when we uh, finished season eight, I guess. I guess they made an, I guess they made more episodes, but we haven't really checked on that. And yes, I do have a boyfriend. I will talk more about that later on in this video because I have some questions that kind of have to do with that. So I will save that till then. The third question is, how long have you been playing Roblox? So I was first introduced to Roblox by my boyfriend. My boyfriend and I have been together for five years. And it's not like a high school, you know, relationship that you see like, you know, like that. I'm not going to tell you guys my exact age because that is kind of just like personal information, but I am in my 20s. I am in my early 20s. I'm not going to say the exact age, but I'm in my early 20s. I know that people who play Roblox are in the younger ages and they're so against online dating, which I am totally against too. Um, online dating as well. I used Tinder once and I did not have a good experience with that so totally against online dating. Totally with you on that. <laughs> I've been playing Roblox for since 2016. If you go down on my profile you'll see that I joined what in like May of 2016 or something like that and that's when I first started playing Roblox. I played all the time that summer and then in 2017 I kind of just forgot about it. And then I got back into it last year because, I don't know, I remembered how fun it used to be and I got obsessed with it. I started playing Roblox again and then now I decided to make Roblox videos and do building videos because, I don't know, it's fun. I've um, been on YouTube for six years. I have another account other than this account that I've been on longer and I have 50,000 subscribers or did 49,000. Um, I don't know, ever since I started changing up my content on that account, like I'm literally indecisive, like I don't know what I want to do. People start unsubscribing, which I don't really care anyways because I'm still doing what I love to do. So it, honestly, subscribers are just numbers. The next question is, who are your favorite Bloxburg players? Pita Bread is definitely one of my favorite Bloxburg players. I really also love Amberry, Feeberry. Um, who else? I really like Flamingo. Um, I recently started watching him and his videos are so funny and entertaining. So I really like him too as well. See, I just subscribed to Dennis. Um, he's another really big YouTuber. I think he has like 7 million subscribers, I think. Yeah, 7 million. I also really love Azria. Um, she was a first Bloxburg builder that I found and then I realized there was more. I really like Annex too as well. There's so many other people out there that I didn't mention. But the next question is, let's see, what are your favorite Roblox games? So obviously one of my favorite games is Bloxburg, the one I'm playing right now. This is my absolute favorite game here on Roblox. I really like playing this game just because it's it has to do with lifestyle, which I, I really love lifestyle games. I love, you know, where you have to work to, you know, get nice things and that's kind of just how life is in general. You know, I feel like it kind of teaches the younger generation that sometimes you gotta work hard to get what you really want and that's that's true. You really do. Um, another one of my favorite games is Adopt Me. I didn't like that game when it first came out. I don't know why. I felt like it was kind of boring. But ever since they had the pets come out recently, I've been playing that a lot more. And also, I recently found out about the Tower of Hell. It's, it's literally like so funny and challenging and like it gets to the point where I get super frustrated and I just leave the game. <laughs> so, I mean, I play that when I have free time and I know that I won't stress out, but most of the time I do anyways, so yeah, um, those are some of my favorite games. The first game that I played on Roblox ever was Survive the Natural Disaster. That one was pretty cool. I started re um, playing other games and I really enjoyed, I really got the feel of Roblox and that it's not just one game, you know? So the next question is, do you build houses for other people? Now, I have built houses for other people. I don't build houses for people if 
you know, it's like you randomly messaged me on Instagram one day asking if I can build you a house. Like, I, I don't take those requests. In fact, I don't ever take building requests. Unless I'm really feeling like I want to, then I will, but most of the time I don't because building takes a lot of work. I literally get creator's block all the time and there are days where I'm just not feeling creative or I just don't feel like doing anything for anyone. I just want to play the game and that's it. So it really just depends how I'm feeling. If you are a close friend of mine in real life, then yes, I will build you a house. If you are a Roblox friend that I've known for a while, yes, I will build you a house. But it depends on what type of house it is. If it's like a huge mansion, probably not because that takes a lot of effort. I'm usually not good at building bigger houses. I like building smaller spaces just because it's better and easier to fill up and you know, it's, it's less on the bills. Okay, so the next question is, what do you like to do outside Roblox? So, I like to hang out with my boyfriend. Um, we like to watch a lot of Netflix. Also, we like to hang out with a lot of friends and um, I, I'm in a sorority, so yes, I am in college. I'm in a sorority. Um, I'm graduating college next year. And um, I really just like to hang out with friends, watch Netflix, go swimming. That's one of my favorite things to do. I love to go swimming in the summer. And then in the winter time, I don't know, there's not really not anything to do, but I basically just like to spend time with people and have a bonfire and just talk and have a good time. What grade are you in? So I kind of already answered this question already, but I am in college and in college, you don't really have grades like fresh. I mean, you do like have freshmen, sophomores, you know, juniors. It doesn't matter how old you are. Um, You could be like 53 and still go to college, which is what I like about it, you know? I really love how in college you get different types of people, different types of age groups, and I feel like you learn more from people of different experiences, different ages than you do with people around your age. I don't know, I always found people around my age kind of like hard to, you know, connect with in a way. That's kind of weird. All the people that I hang out with are like a year or, you know, a few years younger than me or like, you know, a year or older than me. Like people around my age, I just don't really talk to. I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's just me. Um, I love talking to people of different age groups and um, I'm graduating college next spring, so spring of 2020. Um, I've been in college for six years now and you know it's it's kind of around that time where I need to leave <laughs> and move on with my life so that kind of gives away how old I am. I am an older Roblox player but let me tell you I may be older than you but guess what I have a lot of experience, a lot of life experience that you might find interesting and you know, that's what I love about people who are different ages. You learn a lot from them and their experiences. Um, the next question is, do you know anyone in real life who plays Roblox? My boyfriend, um, he used to play Roblox here and there, but now he's like into like the PC games, like, um, I don't even know, like Rainbow Six Siege or something and PUBG and all the shooting games, those are the type of games that he plays. He's like a PC gamer and he has like the whole entire like custom built PC that lights up and all that. So um, he's not really into Roblox games like I am. One of his co-workers, girlfriends, um, I kind of, I guess I could say I kind of got her into Roblox. Um, I haven't really seen her online ever, but she said that she wanted to try making the Roblox videos too, so I guess I could say I do know some people in real life who do play Roblox. Um, another um, person that I know who plays Roblox is one of my sorority sisters. Um, she has a Roblox account and she kind of understands. <laughs> we were in the library the other day and we were waiting for like a sorority event to come and we had like hours till then, so she was like, let's play some Roblox, but the problem is we can't play Roblox at school because something about like the server and connection, it, it, it says that the game failed every single time, so it kind of sucks, but it's fine. <laughs> How were you introduced to Roblox? So my boyfriend and I were spending a few nights at his mom's house. Um, they live an hour away and we're spending the night, a few nights at his mom's house and then he brought his entire Xbox system to his mom's house and then set it up and then we started playing like little mini games and we the first game that actually that's how i was introduced to roblox and the game um survive a natural disaster because that was the only game that he literally played at the time so yeah that's how i was introduced to roblox i thought it was cool and dumb at first but then i was but then I made an account and then it soon became an obsession, so yeah. Um, the next question is, how long have you been on YouTube? So I've already answered this as well. I've been on YouTube for six years. I have another YouTube account before this where I've done a lot of like DIYs and lifestyle videos. You know like those colorful hack videos and all that? I used to do that. That's when my channel grew the most. 
and then I decided that you know all that colorful rainbows and I felt like that age group wasn't me I was growing out of it in fact I was already out of that. I was already out of that age group but I mainly just made those type of videos because they were popular and I saw my channel growing at the time and ever since I've changed from you know from that to what I am now which I do a lot of vlogs and just lifestyle and makeup and a lot of other things like just real life stuff my channel hasn't been growing much lately which again I said I don't really care for the numbers of subscribers really don't let that if you're a youtuber don't let the number of subscribers get to you don't let you know if you lose a lot of subscribers don't let that get to you you're still doing what you love you're still uploading that's the main reason why you started you know your youtube channel in the first place is to is to make videos and upload it and you know not let the numbers get to you okay just just keep that in mind <laughs> next question is how do you record your videos so i used to record my videos using quicktime the playback was very choppy and laggy and i mean using this new software that i'm using now is still kind of like it but i kind of like this a lot better just because it's more organized with with QuickTime, you kind of have to, you know, set like what you want to record, what you want to record on the screen, and I just feel like there's a lot more steps to QuickTime than there is with OBS Studio, I believe it's called OBS Studio, OBS, I don't know, like recorder. If you search OBS, then you'll find it online and like the download link. But I've been using this. This is the second video that I've been using this for, and I really, really like it. It's a lot more organized. It saves files to a certain folder, which I like instead of cluttering up my desktops. So that's what I've been using lately to record my videos. And then the last question is, what do you use to edit your videos? So when I first started YouTube, I actually, you know, filmed on my iPad, my really old, I guess it was a second gen iPad that I started filming on, and I use iMovie, the app to edit my videos and then in 2015 my parents got me a macbook pro for college and my macbook pro is five years old guys so that is why my gaming quality is not as good as it could be just because i have an older macbook and it's not as high tech as newer macbooks nowadays and then i started using imovie on the macbook and then I decided to upgrade my editing game to Final Cut Pro, which is, I believe, $300. I got that for my birthday, and it's really been a great editor since then. Um, I'm still learning new things on how to use it. With YouTube and just being creative in general, you, you're constantly learning new things, new techniques, and this even goes with building houses on Bloxburg. You're constantly learning stuff. But anyways, that is pretty much all the questions and that I have for this video. Let me know if you want me to do another video where I talk more about myself. Um, I've never been one to talk about myself and I usually hate having attention on myself so that's why I don't really do a lot of videos like these. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I currently made 24,000 video- uh, no not videos. $24,000 from working. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!